Hello. So that's still not with my truck included, right? Well, we were looking at both vehicles on top of that to see where we'd be. So you're just taking one vehicle, hitting it against the other. So yeah, because there's no, I don't want, I don't want to have the payment of the, of, of the, um, of the Equinox. So that's what I was saying. So I'll tell you what, what I'll probably do is hopefully if the wife, when she gets off, if she gets off uh, before five today, we'll probably just run up there and take a look at the truck first. Or we even go through all these scenarios and test drive. Okay. Uh, it's probably about four ish. Um, probably around four, four thirty. Well, no, we could, we could, we could, we could try tomorrow, but I know tomorrow I'm busy. So let's, let's just look at, let's just look at the be safe. Let's just look at Monday. Okay. Let's look at Monday about, about, uh, 3 4 o'clock. Okay. Talk to you then. Okay. Bye-bye. Praise the Lord. This is your host, Elder Gregory Newsom with Faith in God Internet TV broadcast. Touch and agree prayer hour. God bless you. Thank you for joining us on today. We bring you greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is ahead of our life. And we give honor to our honorable pastor, Bishop Dr. Ellis Murchison, Sr. of the Pentecostal Power Church and Lady Paulette. And to my own lovely wife, Missionary Newsom, and to all of you that have joined us on the Fidget TV Network today. God bless you. Uh, we have a lot to cover today. Uh, first thing we'd like to do is um, talk about our sidebar and then we'll get into the uh, various prayer requests. And I uh, kind of alluded to it yes, uh, a day before yesterday, which was on Wednesday. We kind of alluded to um, a couple things that we want to talk about today. Uh, let us continue. Uh to uh, solidify a stronger uh, position in our faith because we're in a time uh, in our history that we've never experienced before. And uh, I'm not a political person, but I am a sober-minded person. I truly believe we should pay attention to the things that are happening around us. And as you know, again, we live in a country where uh, people that we voted for are not doing their jobs. I'm just going to put it out there plainly. They're not doing their jobs. And we got a lot of things that need tending to as it relates to uh, the human government. And we know we're trusting the Lord and our faith is in God, but God has uh, allowed these different uh systems to be in place to benefit the people. But I want to say uh, they still have not on uh, uh, the Republican side, they still have not selected a speaker. So therefore, our country 
is in neutral. And I was just thinking in my mind before we get into prayer, because this is why we really need to be praying. You know, we have a lot of incompetence. Hmm? We have a lot of incompetence in our government. And you know what makes it more striking? We have incompetent people voting for it, incompetent. <laughs> oh, let me get out of here. I got to go. We got incompetent people voting for incompetent congressmen and all these other different positions that they're in. And, you know, it's getting disheartening. And so, saints, this is why I'm on the broadcast. Saints, we need to pray. We need to pray that God will take care of his people uh, and not uh, that we don't fall into the hands of the unjust. Hmm? And this is what I'm talking about today. And this is why it's very important that we come together as believers. And we can't be like Democrats, Republicans, independents, and, uh, you know, all these other things that are happening in our world today. All believers in Christ need to come together, touch and agree and pray uh, that the law would just come to uh, the aid of the people. Because if God don't touch these people, mind, praise God, we may be in neutral a long time. Hmm? And people don't believe prayer changes things. And I'm here today as a witness, uh, as a person that prays uh, regularly. And I can tell you, I prayed for a long time for some things. And I've kind of felt like Daniel in some instances. You know, Lord, did you did you uh, <laughs> Lord, did you get the uh, memo? You know, because sometimes uh, uh, we sometimes can be in a position where uh, not that we doubt, but we 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 uh, question as if, uh, well, Lord, I know I prayed and I know you heard me, but uh, I haven't gotten a response back yet. Hmm. And sometimes the response is not immediate. And so this is why, saints, we want to be praying because um, God does answer prayer. And there's an old saying and adage that we use. He may not come when you want him, but he's always on time. And so that's why I want to say to the people of God, God is always on time. So we need to pray uh, for the elect uh, Israel as a nation our country, uh, our families, our loved ones. And so we're going to get into the prayer request today. Please pray uh, for our leaders, our leadership. Pray for my pastor, Bishop Murchison. Pray for Lady Paulette. Uh, pray for all of the saints of God. Uh, pray for all of our spiritual leaders and those that are pastoring ministries. Uh, let us pray that God will continue to direct their hearts, that they may continue to feed the flock of God to which the Holy Ghost have made them overseer. Uh, continue to pray uh, for our presider and assistant presider and their wives. And uh, please pray for the executive council board of bishops. Pray for my sister Tweety. Pray for my nieces, my nephews, my sisters and brothers and my immediate family. Please pray for the grandchildren. We solicit the prayers of the saints to pray for our daughter, Gabrielle. Uh, pray that God will touch the mind, that God will save. Remember, uh, Victor, Javon, Royale, uh, the Wilson family, uh, the Holton family, uh, the Swanigan family. Let's remember them in prayer, uh, their family, Rena. Let us pray for Robert. Uh, let us pray for all of the saints children as well, not just our children, but the saints children as well. Pray for the Murchison family. Pray for the Lee family. Uh, saints, let us pray for the Sykes family. Let us pray. Saints, let us bombard heaven today. Praise God. Hmm? And we can put our focus in on the things that, uh, is most needed, uh, among us that souls will be saved, that God will send forth laborers into the vineyard. Let us touch and agree on these things. Let us continue to pray 
that the Lord of harvest will uh, reap a harvest in these last and evil days because truly the harvest uh, is ripe, but the labors are few. Uh, let us continue to pray uh, for Pastor Petty. Did an excellent job on last night uh, expounding on the word of God of only, you know, expounding the word only, you know, and people don't understand why uh, that word Jesus only because he's the only, oh, glory be to God, the only name under heaven given among men whereby we can be saved. So he's the only one that can take care of the sin problem. And so we need to come to Jesus. This is why we're praying today. We're praying that God will grant you deliverance because we know the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous man availed much. And so these are things that we want to pray for, touch and agree for. And if you need prayer, please contact us. Information will be going across the screen throughout the broadcast. So please Join us on this broadcast. We're going to be firing up Zoom uh, hopefully uh, next month in November. We're going to try to get some guests on and invite them to come on and be with us uh, as uh, a guest speaker or a guest uh, uh, person to come on and share not only their testimony, but praise report and also a word of hope to the people of God. So we're working on some things for our next uh, season, season 11. So pray for us as we uh, work uh, feverishly uh, to uh, get uh, others on board with us that they may be able to share on the Faith in God Internet TV and also the Touch and Agree Prayer Hour. All right? Continue to pray for our Mother Flowers as well as Mother Summers uh, that the Lord will feel uh, various souls with the gift of the Holy Ghost, those that are yet tearing. Uh, my sister Tweety, pray for her. Pray for my niece, Naisha, which is Pooh. Pray for her that God will touch. Uh, pray for Lady Turner, District Elder Turner, the True Holiness family, as well as the New Mount Olive family. Pray for Pastor Hill, Gerald Green, uh, Elder Green, Elder Sloan. Uh, let us pray for Grace Temple, uh, Elder Lael Thompson, Pastor Lael Thompson, and also First Lady, uh, Thompson, Robin Thompson, let us pray for them and their family. And let us continue to pray and bombard heaven. Remember all the different people that said pray for us. You know, sometimes we forget to pray for people. You know, we need to take these prayer requests serious. You know, people need help. Uh, let us remember to pray for those people that's got family missing in Israel. Pray that uh, uh, the law will uh, provide a way or avenue that uh, lives can be spared from uh, the hand of the enemy. Uh, let us continue to pray for peace uh, for the nation of Israel, as well as uh, our nation as a whole. But the main thing we need to pray for, that God will give us a greater sense of discernment because we need the Holy Ghost in these last and evil days. We need to lean into it. And we need to lean on the shoulders of the Lord like never before. And if I were you, I would join in on this broadcast today and grab hold to the horns of the altar uh, for the brief space of time that we're going to be praying. But we're going to continue to be praying on the Faith in God Internet TV. So please submit your request. So throughout the week, even before we get on the air, we can pray, intercede and acknowledge God on the behalf of his people. Uh, please pray that God will continue to anoint and elevate men and women of God, that they will go out on the battlefield and proclaim the good news, the gospel of Jesus Christ. All right? These are the things that we're asking of the people of God. This is a call to action. And, uh, Let's get ready to go before it's thrown. We want to uh, definitely uh, go to our scripture anthem, prayer anthem scripture, which is found in 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse number 14 through 16. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray 
and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Now mine eyes shall be open and mine ears attend to the prayer that is made in this place. For now have I chosen and sanctified this house that my name may be there forever and mine eyes and my heart shall be there perpetually. Let us go before the throne of grace. Eternal God, our Savior, in the precious name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you, Heavenly Father. We thank you today. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory, God. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God, for being, oh, God, a wonderful Savior. We thank you, Lord, for the use and activity of our limbs. We thank you, Lord, for a right mind today. We thank you, Lord, for the opportunity to intercede on the behalf of thy people. And Lord, we thank you for your greatness. Lord, for we know your mercy endure forever and your truth, oh God, endure to all generations. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh God, for, oh God, blessing, oh God, those, oh God, hallelujah, that's without the body, God that they may, oh God, get a relationship and know you, oh God, in the power of your resurrection and the fellowship of your suffering. Help us today, God, that we all may be made more conformable unto your death. Help us today, Lord, as we, oh God, repent and call on the name of Jesus. Forgive us, God, of any and every sin and everything that's not like you, God. Blot out our transgressions, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Touch, God those that's been called up and been activated, God, hallelujah, oh God, to be on duty, God, in our service, God, hallelujah, thank you, God, those, oh God, that's in our military forces, God, bless them, God, those that's been called up, God, touch them in the name of Jesus, bless them, God, Lord, you know what we have need of, Father, oh God, stand by our side, Heavenly Father, Lord, as we acknowledge you in all of our ways, God, direct our path today in the mighty name of Jesus. Help us, God. Lift up the bow down heads, God. Somebody hurting, God. Somebody want another touch, God. Somebody need, oh, God, strength today. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Lord, send it like only you can, God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Lord, rain down on us, God, your Shekinah glory. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. Help us, God, oh, God, to fall prostrate before you, God, in the name of Jesus, oh, God. Lord, send an increase of faith among your people today in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we give you glory and we give you praise today in the name of Jesus, oh, God. Lord, look on our pastor and first lady, God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Look on Bishop Murchison, God. Look on Lady Murchison, God. Lord, touch in the name of Jesus. Lord God, Lord, touch, Lord, oh God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, oh God, those, oh God, oh Lord, that's fallen down by the wayside, God, Lord, lift them up by your power and your anointing today, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God, touch all of those, God, that said pray for us, God, Lord, we're not going to recite their names, God, but God, they came in private and said, Pray for me, God, uh, in the name of Jesus. Help them, God. Uh, help them through the storm, God. Uh, help them through the test, Lord, uh, in the name of Jesus, Lord. Uh, Lord, encourage your people, God. Uh, Lord, as we go through our darkest hour, Lord, uh, in history, God, uh, like never before, God. Uh, send a double anointing, God. Uh, oh, God, upon your people, God. Uh, help us to have enduring faith, God, uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. We come to tell you thank you today, God. Thank you, Jesus. Look on Pastor Simmons, God. In the name of Jesus, Lord. Look on his family right now. Lord, touch, strengthen, and encourage right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, God. Look on those that are hurting, God. You said in your word, God, that vengeance is mine, said the Lord. 
I will repay. Touch God uh, in the name of Jesus, God. Uh, oh, God, because hurting people uh, hurt other people. Help us, God. Uh, oh, God, that you will heal the hurt of thy people uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, God. Uh, lift up the bow down heads, Lord. Uh, lift up the, oh, glory to God. Uh, lift up the heads of thy people, God. Uh, oh, Lord, strengthen the feeble knees, God, uh, in the name of Jesus, God. Uh, bless the sick, God. Uh, send healing right now. Uh, honor their repentance, God. Uh, oh, God, move, Lord. Uh, move up on them, God, uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, God. Uh, we thank you for it, God. Mm. We 